guys, this is Jessica with Chapter Chicks, and this chapter is for you. So today I'm doing a review on Evernight by Claudia Gray. This is the first book in her Evernight series. It's printed by Harper Teen, and it was printed in 2008. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Claudia Gray is not actually the writer's name. Her real name is Amy Vincent, and Claudia Gray is just a pseudonym she chose for no reason whatsoever. This book gets a 4 on our new 10-point rating scale. You can check out Stacy's video on the rating scale, or you can check it out on our new blog that's up, chapterchick.blogspot.com. There's no S at the end, but it's spelled the exact same any other way. And for us, a four is, a be the beginning kind of sucked, but it started off pretty good in the end. So they tricked us by, they, they try to wrap you in at the very end so you go out and buy the other books. This book was a pain to get through. I'm not going to lie. I really, I started off really liking it, and then something happens about... About midway, a little less, a little more than where I'm at right now, but about midway, that just makes you go, oh my god, really? Really? I thought this book was going to be so much different than it actually was, but it's it still wasn't a terrible book. I can't decide whether or not I recommend it. Maybe this is a book that you should get from your library and see if you like it first. Because this is definitely, if you like it, it's a personal preference. It's not one of those books that everybody is going to enjoy. The next book in the series is called Stargazer. And it is the one that looks almost identical to this, except it's purple. So, And then the third one in the series just came out recently. It's called Hourglass. I actually have all of them, if you guys wanted me to show them or not. We should actually, I actually have all of them. If you look in our book haul, you can see that we, me and my sister both got them all. But I'll go ahead and read the back to you. It says, Bianca wants to escape. At the eerily gothic Evernight Academy, the other students are sleek, smart, and almost predatory. Bianca knows she doesn't fit in. When she meets handsome, brooding Lucas, he warns her to be careful, even when it comes to caring about him. But the connection between them can't be denied. Bianca will risk anything to be with Lucas but the dark secrets are fated to tear them apart and to make Bianca question everything she's ever believed. So, that sounds pretty good, and it's a kind of a okay description about the book, but it does make it sound better than it actually is. They try this twist in the middle, and it's like, oh yeah, okay. Well, and another thing I really, really, really don't like, this kind of almost even offends me, it says... See what happens next for star-crossed lovers, Bianca and Lucas? Okay, there's no star-crossed lovers besides Katniss and Peeta. You cannot compare those two by calling them both star-crossed lovers. Are you kidding? Maybe that's just because I'm so obsessed with the Hunger Games series and the fact that Katniss and Peeta were called star-crossed lovers, but Bianca and Lucas's love does not even compare in the slightest. No. No, 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 no. Sorry, Harper Teen. You made a bad choice on putting that in the back. This is... I'll just show you some more from the beginning. That's what the font looks like. So it's pretty basic. I don't even know what font it would be. Would it be called? The prologue also makes it sound very good. It's only a page... But it's, it makes it sound okay. But it's... I don't know. Like I said, this book got a 4, which means the beginning sucked, but the ending was kind of okay. And that's because the author really did find a good way to wrap up the story and leave you kind of wondering what's going to happen next. But it's nothing like it should be in a book. Like... I am definitely not, I already have Stargazer, and I'm definitely not rushing to pick it up. In fact, I picked up a different series entirely, which, I mean, I do usually do that for books. I usually don't read them all series in order. 
but there's some of them that you just have to, that you just can't put down, and this definitely wasn't one of them. So it gets a four on our new rating scale. So, like I said, this was my book review for Evernight by Claudia Gray. You can check out my written review later. I'm actually about to go on a picnic, so I can't really do my written review right now, but it will be up later, and there will be a lot more details, but no spoilers still. Even though we're doing chapter chicks, instead of YA Fiction Freaks, there's definitely still no spoilers. So, This is my review on Claudia Gray's Evernight. This chapter was for you.